Hey, this is Matt Wimmer from Brody Precision. In this video, we are taking a look at something that I think most people who are familiar with Niagara have run across, and that's making your PX. Typically, our PXs, we have some images, we have some data we put on them, and that's about it. There's not much in the way of interactivity. You might have some animation on some uh, fans and that kind of thing, but the interactivity that users have come to know from other daily usage things on websites, uh, it would be nice if we could add some of that in. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a floor plan and uh, let's pop into Niagara and I'll show you. So we've got this floor plan and you can see it's got a it's got a bunch of data on it. This is actually our um, old layout of our building, uh, our main office. And you can see we've got a bunch of different zones, reading temperatures and uh, who's in those individual offices and locations, uh, and then the actual ductwork and how things are fed in the in the building. And it'd be nice if we could toggle some of that kind of thing on and off. So we can actually do that with a just a little bit more work than we're used to doing in Niagara. So let's take a look at how that uh, is done. And uh, let's get started. So the first thing that I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to go... So I just have this uh, floor plan as a view on this uh, playground folder. I'm going to... First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create uh, a couple Boolean writable points in here. The first one I'm going to call uh, show duct. And this is the point that we're going to use to toggle our duct work on and off. And then I'm going to create another one. And I'm going to call it show zones. And it helps if I don't typo this. Okay, so now I'm going to go into these. And I'm going to just change some facets and things on them. So we'll say show and hidden. These facets don't really matter so much. It just uh, makes it easier for you to come back and reference later. And I'm also going to go into the slot sheet and I'm going to hide everything except for my set for the actions. And I'm going to do the same thing over here, except I'm going to use the recents. So save that. And then I'll go to the slot sheet and I'll do the same thing here and hide these. Okay, so we have those, those points created. I'll go back to the floor plan here and go into edit mode. So what we're actually going to do is take these boolean points and use them to animate our visibility or our image properties on um, the, the graphic itself. So as an example, uh, for the show duct, I'm going to come in here to my floor plan image. I'm going to add in a new value binding and it actually is easier to see this way and I'm going to paste in that point as my ord and I'm going to animate my image on it because I have uh, this image which is my my show when I'm showing my uh, ductwork and for the false image I also have a version of the image without the ductwork so hit OK and if I get out of here and you can see it, it went back because this is already set at false. So it's hidden. Now if I make it show, there you go. We're, we're showing it. So a little bit of interactivity that we'll be able to do. And we'll, we'll add some controls on the screen so that we can make that happen easily. And the next thing that we'll do is we'll do this for all of the zones. Same thing, except... I already had this in there, so uh, animate. So on false, I want this not to show, and on true, I want it to show. And the way I did this was I just right-clicked on the visible property and did an animate. You can do this for any of these properties, pretty much. You can animate them based on a uh, binding that you add into the point. You can have multiple bindings, too. So we'll say OK, and you can see now that's off because our show zones is off and if I set this to show it will show so now I'm going to fast forward a bit and I'll come back when all of my 
floor plan items for the zones are set with that uh, visibility animation for this point. So we'll be right back. All right, so all of those zones are now linked up with my show zones uh, boolean point. So if I go in here and do an action and make this hidden, you can see all of my zone values are now uh, hiding. So we'll show those again. And now we'll add the controls in so that we can do this directly from the PX so any user could make these uh, sort of visibility changes themselves. So the way that I like to do this, there's a bunch of different ways you could do it, but the way that I like to do it seems to be the most intuitive for a user is to use uh, the set point checkbox, which is underneath kit PX uh, for the palette. So I'm going to drag one of those out and I'm going to use it to do my show duct. So we will set that as the ord. And um, for the text, I'm going to say show duct work and say OK. That looks good. And you can see now the checkbox is automatically checked. It knows that the Boolean value is true. So if I uncheck it, my duct work goes away. So we'll do the same thing. I'm just going to duplicate it. We'll do the same thing and we'll make this for the zones. And I'll just do this real quick. And now I can hide the zones. So the one caveat that you need to know about all of this kind of pseudo uh, interactivity is that these points behave the exact same way points do normally in Niagara, which means if one user that you have who's logged into the system unchecks this box, that change will be made for every other user that's logged into the system. I think for the vast majority of systems, this probably won't make a difference. You don't have a ton of people who are logged in at the same time um, who are going to be maybe running into this. Plus, it's only for a graphic, so the likelihood of it causing issues is pretty low, uh, but it's just something to, to keep in mind. Uh, so that that pretty much is it. Uh, I think one of the next videos that we'll do on this is explaining a little bit about what's going on with these PX includes. It's a little bit more complicated. You can see we've got some variables. We've got this zone color property that we've added in there, which, which is custom. Uh, that kind of thing uh, that makes building out a graphic like this much easier. We're reusing assets uh, so you don't have to rebuild them every single time. So hopefully this video was informative for you, and uh, we'll see you the next one. If you haven't liked and subscribed, please do so, and uh, thanks.